Hello everyone, welcome to our back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and welcome to the beautiful High Point University. If you are new to my channel and you did not know yet, I am a senior here and it is named the most beautiful college in the South. So without further ado, let's get on a tour of the beautiful High Point University. So some might think it's a little crazy, but our whole campus is gated in. So we do have these like guard stations at every entrance. So you do have to talk to security to get onto campus unless you are a student and have a sticker, then you can drive right on. But it is definitely something that makes me feel very safe and it's just pretty in the front of campus. So when you come on a tour of High Point University, I think it's really cool that you get to park right up here, right up front and they put your name on one of these light up signs, which is so cool, and about four years ago now, my name was on one of these signs, and it was just so special to feel important, and like everyone knew I was here visiting. So just like a super cool thing that the school does on tours to make every student feel so welcome here at High Point University, and it's honestly a feeling that never goes away, even as a senior, I can totally say that. So this is the main academic promenade, and the first building on it is Hayworth Fine Arts, which is where every freshman has the best class ever, which is President Seminar, and that is a class with actually High Point's president and he teaches about like life skills and just gets you really prepared for the college experience and gets your mindset in a place for growth and to realize like why you came to college and the importance of it and really to make the most of your experience. So it is just a really good way to start out your freshman year. And also since every freshman is in that class, I know I really met a ton of people from being in there. So following along the promenade, there are flags to represent every country. The flags on campus represent a, a student from that certain country. So if you look at all these different flags, there's at least one student that goes to this school who's from one of these countries. And also, this is one of the most iconic buildings on campus. It is like, honestly, one of our school's logos. It is Roberts Hall, and that is just where there's a lot of like student resources so like when you have to make schedules, if you need any help, those people are in there. And yeah, graduation is held in the front lawn in front of it. But now they're actually working on a new stadium. So our graduation is supposed to be the first one in there. Hopefully that works out. I'm not sure with how the world is going, if that'll still happen. But either way, we're excited. Well, I'm not excited to graduate, but excited for the ceremony, I guess. And wherever it is, it'll be beautiful. And High Point really does make every event like larger than life. So it's going to be fun and amazing no matter where it is. So this is a building right here in front of us that I spent a ton of my time in my freshman year because the undergraduate science building was not here yet. So this originally was, uh, again, a science building and now it is the School of Engineering, which is a new major here at High Point. So they redid the entrance and some stuff inside since there was a lot of labs in there. So it would fit the engineering school. But yeah, our promenade is absolutely beautiful. Also on here is the dorm for honor students, which is really perfect because they're right in the middle of the promenade. Since honor students' workload can get heavy, it's really a nice location to have them in. So it's perfect because I know the year before I came, it was an all boys dorm, but I definitely think it was a smart switch on the school. Also on the promenade and many other places on campus, we have these little like snack huts and in the mornings they have water and granola bars, apples, all sorts of fun stuff and amazing workers that give them out to you. So if you are running late to class, you don't have to worry about missing out on breakfast because it goes from 7.30ish before the 7.50 start until 10.30. So it's just a really great thing to have on campus and we're definitely lucky to have it because everything is also free. So you know, you can grab some water bottles and a snack and have a great day. This is also a very iconic piece of our campus this tree in the front. And honestly, this is just such a good view. Also very sad, it's supposed to be family weekend this weekend. Not too sad because my family is still coming. So I'm really excited for them to get here and it's going to be so much fun, but it's just sad that we're not having the usual family weekend festivities and everyone doesn't have their families coming. So this is also very new on campus. There was like parts here and the rest is pretty much new, but it is just like a reflective pool and there's just so many beautiful little areas on this campus so it's perfect for taking pictures and honestly i should more often also those big hpu letters are brand new this semester and they're in there pretty good so i think they're staying they always have new pop-up art so obviously this is very fitting for the times right now 
but they change it really often. So we love that, but now heading into the Slane Student Center, and when you walk in here, you can already see that there is so many places to study, and it's a perfect place to hang out, and right up front we have these HP letters and awesome chairs to hang out in, as well as our Starbucks location, which is one of the two on campus, and also the bookstores up here, which I definitely come to way too often because I don't need more high point apparel, but I love it. And it looks like they're already ready for Halloween in here. And another addition that the campus has made due to COVID is these plexiglass dividers on these little tables. So students can still study together, but in a really safe way. So definitely a great addition. And also across the way, you can see our indoor track, which is really awesome because it has a pacing system built in. So you can just turn that on and run with a light that paces you around it. So super cool. Also these HPU letters are tables, so it's fun to sit there. Coming downstairs, this is my favorite dining location in this building and honestly on campus. And you can see they added walk-in and reservation signs above. And that is just to make sure that the cap isn't getting too high on capacity throughout COVID. And this is usually a buffet which is my favorite thing ever, and I mean it still kind of is, but they do have to serve you now, so it's a little different. Also, a cool thing about High Point University is we have campus concierge, and this is one of the two locations on campus, and those are student employees that can pretty much answer any questions you have about anything on campus. And also we have Subway and Chick-fil-A in here, and now you can mobile order and just come pick up your food. So I know a lot of students take advantage of that, as well as the gym on campus, which we're so happy is finally open because North Carolina, you know, wasn't in the stages yet for that. But yeah, it's just the perfect building to come and hang out in and get some work done because you never have to leave because everything is literally right here at your fingertips. So coming outside, you can obviously see that it is absolutely beautiful and North Carolina has great weather, so there is outside seating almost everywhere on campus, and we definitely take advantage of it. As you can obviously see already, our campus is just beautiful, like from every angle, every direction, everywhere you walk. So we love being here so much, and it really just makes me happy every single day to walk around a campus like this. So just a photo op over here, these big chairs, and we also have outdoor exercise equipment. Also, it is very important to our president's wife that all the students know what plants are around campus, which is why there are these little signs next to every single one. And it is also really important to this campus that there's places for students to hang out and get work done outside. So we have these benches and hammocks. This fountain is really cool and different than a lot of the other ones on campus. And actually, after convocation freshman year, every freshman comes down here to put their hand in it and make a wish. And actually, I was so excited taking pictures with my friends. The photographer asked me if he could take one of me by myself, and it actually ended up in multiple dorms across campus. And I wish I could get into any of the freshman dorms to show you guys, but like COVID, so I can't do that. But it was an amazing picture, and I will add it in here to show you. But yeah, so that is what this fountain here is. So now we are heading up to our Gwanek Center, which is pretty much just another student center that there is so much to do, and I'm not going to ruin the surprise because it is probably one of the buildings with the coolest stuff on campus. So we are going to head in there now. So Wanek has honestly blown my mind since I got to school here because there's just so many amazing things in here and the other campus concierge. But starting here, this is the point. So it is like a Buffalo Wild Wings, like sports bar style dining area on campus. And you can like come up here and order or you can mobile order and just go pick it up. But there are a ton of like game tables and stuff that you would expect to see in like a bar and grill. And I know this is definitely used most when there are big sports games going on because of the big screens we have in here. But it is just a fun and different experience versus the rest of the dining areas on campus. And actually, we're going to go out back here because I have something really important to show you out here. So behind me was actually my freshman dorm that I met my boyfriend in and a lot of my best friends that I still have today. So I just wanted to show you guys that while we were out here because the Wannick Center used to be UC1, so behind it was UC2, but obviously Wannick got renamed. 
because that is the owners of Ashley Furniture, which donated the furniture that is inside of it. So that is why it is called that. But UC2 still remains with its name. And honestly, some of my favorite memories happened in that building. So I wanted to make sure you guys got to see it. So now we are back in the point to show you the amazing arcade that is downstairs. So this is the arcade that is below the point. You can just take the stairs down or there's elevators and escalators in the center of the building. But it is so cool that we have like a full arcade. So as you can see, like the Pac-Man and pool and foosball, ski ball, all sorts of different things, basketball games. And honestly, the most I ever came down here was when I spent a summer taking some classes. Me and my brother love to come hang out in here and screw around and try to beat each other at every single game. But it's just absolutely amazing, even High Point University pool tables and racing games, as well as these little rooms. You can bring your own gaming console. They've got all the stuff so you can plug it right in and play whatever games you want if you don't have like a TV or a space in your room. But yeah, it is just the craziest thing ever. And I love having something like this to just come de-stress in some fun on like a weeknight or weekend, whenever you need it, it's always open. So love coming here. Walking out, as you can see, just more areas to hang out, which is a reason that people spend so much time out of their room on campus. So we have the market, and this is at Wanik, again downstairs, but also a Jamba Juice. And again, we are a cashless campus, so you can use your meals and dining dollars anywhere. Also, something that is absolutely insane is that we have a movie theater on campus. So on the student activities, they'll always send you out what movies are going to be playing that week. So here's just some billboards of what they're going to be playing. But I am hoping we can get in here. It doesn't look like anything's going on. This is a full theater with full seating. Absolutely unreal. Honestly, it is so cool that we have like this full movie theater on campus and it looks like they're using it for classes right now probably just because it is big and they have plenty of room to keep people socially distanced. So that is really a good use of it. But it is definitely so much fun to come here and see a movie and we definitely did that more like freshman year than we do now. But I know a lot of people come down and get their free popcorn and soda and just leave anyway. So it's still a really cool thing to have. So coming out of the theater, just giving you a view of things from the other side and a closer look at the market at Wanik. And we're going to go upstairs to try to show you a little more of what's in here. Okay, so we are getting out of the elevator at the library and I'm gonna go in here to show you guys, but I wanna be quiet just in case there are students doing work. Okay, so this might be the most beautiful place to see the campus ever. And I'm so happy we got to come out here to show you guys because you can literally see everything from here. So over there we have Norcross Graduate School, which is actually where my advisor's office is. So I have definitely been in there a lot. And to the left is where my swimming class is. So that is the gym. And obviously our basketball team plays in there. But when it's done, you can see in the distance that is going to be the new arena. So it will be the coolest place to have our basketball games. And now we're looking down on the student center. We were just at Slain in the beautiful fountains. And oh, this is just such an amazing view of campus. Right there is that honors dorm I was telling you guys about. And you can kind of see the pool from up here. So just trying to orient you guys of the campus, but I'm so happy we got to come out here because it really is the best view on the entire campus. And I forgot to mention that this little area is right off of the library. So it is absolutely the perfect place to come and hang out and study. But now we are going to walk back through the library. But again, I have to be quiet because there are kids working in here. But it is just the most beautiful library ever. I have never seen anything like it. And High Point University doesn't really have desks because they want students to feel like they're in the real world, not a student. So it's just really a good way to feel grown up and mature in these libraries. Okay, so this is another one of my favorite dining locations on campus, and this is the Farmer's Market. And this one has a lot of really, really healthy options. So they have like a full salad bar, and at night they do a healthy stir-fry station where you pick all fresh vegetables to be mixed with rice or rice noodles. So I love eating here. So heading downstairs, and I also wanted to point out because I think it's really cool that we have escalators that go through one of our buildings on campus. But now we are heading over 
to the bakery which has a ton of really fun and colorful seating as well as some very motivational posters and wall art. So I love to hang out and get work done in here as well as grab something to eat because it is one of the best places to mobile order which we used to call tap and go but now it's mobile order and they have like sandwiches and salads and some of the best breakfast items so love that. Also freshman year I used to fight for this seat in front of the fireplace and that was my favorite place to study. But yeah they also have this pastry case so there's like bagels and scones, cannolis even, like cupcakes, there's so much fun stuff that you can get like at the side with your meal. But yeah, it's just a really, really fun setup in here, like all of the other dining locations in here. So now we are heading out and I really wish I got to show you Prime, which is our educational steakhouse on campus that counts towards our meal plan, but it does not open till 4 and you have to have a reservation. So I will have to make time to do that again next time. We are on our way to Cottrell, which is one of the most helpful student success buildings on campus. So they can help you find an internship or travel abroad, maybe with your resume or building up your LinkedIn profile. So, so many student resources in this building and definitely a place that sets you up for success. Right now we are heading into, I think this is more a side door of Cottrell, but the door that I think most people use because it takes us into our second Starbucks location on campus. So this Starbucks is honestly the coolest place ever because it is set up like an airplane and there's motivational quotes going on the cloud wall and it is just so cool that it has this like airport set up in here. So this is where I normally come to get my coffee just because it is the closest to home and obviously you can see it is just absolutely amazing in this building and heading down this hall there are a ton of little rooms that people use at night to study in normally during the day they are being used for different activities like some of them have built-in cameras and stuff and i can't really go over because people are doing things but they use them so students can see what they are like in an interview themselves so that is why they have those but like i said just different student resources in here to help you find internships and all sorts of fun stuff so it is definitely set up to get students all the help that they need to be successful beyond their college years. Honestly, I feel like I keep using the same adjectives to describe things on this campus because everything really is so beautiful, amazing, and unreal. And we are so lucky to have such a great team of campus enhancement workers that make sure that these grounds stay so beautiful because it definitely does make your college experience when you can wake up and feel like you're in the most amazing place ever. So I am just so thankful that they put in the amount of effort that they do to keep this campus looking the way that it does. So this is the amphitheater where we take a lot of our formal pictures and honestly people have been utilizing it lately to work out in, especially because originally our gyms were closed and now they're open to a lower capacity but they were allowed to open. But people have been using it to like run stairs and stuff. So overall, it is just an amazing area to have on a college campus. Just really quickly, I wanted to show this amazing view of Cottrell from the outside because I just think it's so beautiful. And now we are heading across to the other side of campus. So this is just another one of those little snack stands and this is a campus bus that is used to transport students to off-campus housing areas. So we are coming towards the end of our tour but still a few more things to show you and honestly they are some of the best things on this campus. And you've seen the back of this building but not the front. This is the School of Education which is where I have my psychology classes and I am taking one this semester. So if you've seen any of my vlogs you've seen the back, not the front of it. So coming up ahead of us, this is the Cogden School of Health Sciences and it is a graduate school building and it was really cool because freshman year when it was first opening, I got to have a class in there. So I felt super cool and special every day going to class in there as a freshman. But honestly, I haven't really gotten to have classes in there besides the fact that I got to use the biomechanics lab in there for a couple classes just a few times. but. It's really cool and I've gotten to do a lot of cool labs in there and I had to do like a VO2 max test with not to get all science and nerdy but I had to like run on a treadmill with a bunch of tubes and stuff attached to me so they could see the difference between my inhalation and expiration so 
simplest form, that's what it was, and it was really cool that they had all the equipment for that. I literally say it every day, and I mean it so much. Every inch of this campus is just more beautiful than the next, and it feels so amazing and surreal to be able to come to a college that looks like this. So right when you walk in the door of this building, there is this huge DNA strand, and it is so big, and you don't even realize until you're standing right next to it, but it is absolutely unreal and walking over towards this side of the building we are going to be seeing the biomechanics lab and there's a classroom up here but this lab has literally everything you could possibly need and they actually do use it for research purposes and get a lot of information on athletes to make sure they are staying healthy and also in this building we have a brand new auditorium which i have been into here some amazing and very inspirational speakers but yeah this building is just so cool and i wish they had occupational therapy because i would kill to go to grad school here so our president really likes classical music and things is really inspiring and helps students learn so that is why on our promenade there is classical music blaring at all times so yeah the undergraduate and graduate science building super cool on our campus so obviously i now spend a lot of my time in the undergraduate science building and it is really cool in there but there's a lot of labs and stuff with glass classrooms so I didn't want to go in there and get a ton of footage of that because it can be gross and I don't know if I can do that. So that is why we didn't go in there. So on our campus, we also have a lot of these statues of inspirational people that have made an impact in our world's history. So this one is of Ronald Reagan. So I just wanted to, you know, sit down and say hey to him while I showed you how cool it is that we have all of these people and like amazing quotes from each of them around our campus. So I just think it's cool to have inspiring people all over our promenade to remind us every day of the greatness we can give to the world and how much of an impact we can have on it. So now heading over to one of the coolest places on campus that I don't think a lot of schools have anything like. It is our Greek village. So this is where all of our Greek houses are and we have six sororities and six fraternities on campus. So there are a total of 12 houses, which obviously works out very nicely because if there was an extra one, I don't really know where they'd put them. And in our Greek village, as you'll see, we have a pool and hot tub, as well as a conference center where most of the sororities at least hold their chapters and tennis courts, basketball courts. So it's really cool. So we're going to check it out and I'm going to show you my sorority house. But actually, sadly, I cannot go in my sorority house currently because, you know, again, COVID and there's rules about that and the people in the house have to know people are coming because there's already a lot of girls that live there. So like capacity issues, so I can't just walk in like normal or else I would love to show you, but hopefully eventually I will be able to get in there to show that to you all. So again, this is Web Conference Center. And I've actually had class in there once randomly and it was kind of weird because, you know, to me it's like the Greek conference center. So having class was a little strange, but yeah, it happened. So here is the Greek pool and hot tub and these fun little places to sit and my sorority house, Kappa Delta, and I absolutely love it. And across the road is Sigma Nu, which is my boyfriend and was my brother's fraternity. But yeah, all the houses are around here, the basketball courts, the tennis courts. So just a really fun place on campus to be. So that was the Greek village. Now our last stop is Samuel Commons, which has another pool for people that live in Centennials like me and my friends and my boyfriend and everyone. So it is so fun that we have like our own little pool back here. And our post office and gym are also in there, but I don't want to disrupt people too much today because I definitely have a lot already. So that is it for the campus tour of the beautiful High Point University. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did taking you all through it with me. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.